قال المؤلف رحمه الله said the author may Allah have mercy upon him سورة التكافر the Quranic chapter called التكافر التكافر is amassing gathering collecting مكية مكن سورة وَهِيَ ثَمَانُ آيَاتِ It consists of eight verses. بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ In the name of Allah, الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ أَلْهَاكُمُ التَّكَاثُرِ التَّكَاثُرِ Competing in acquisition has busied you, has occupied you. شغلكم التباري في الكثرة والتباهي بها في الأموال والأولاد عن طاعة الله. Competing with each other in acquisition. And challenging each other in gathering wealth and having children has busied you from the obedience of Allah. Hatta zurtumul maqabir. Until you have visited the graves. It has busied you until you have visited the graves. حتى أدرككم الموت على تلك الحال. You stayed like that until death caught you while you were like that. أو حتى زرتم المقابر وعددتم من في المقابر من موتكم. Or even to the extent. يعني or it means. You have been occupied with this to the extent that when you visit the graves, you count your dead ones as a way of boasting. Kalla Rodarun desist from that. Watambihun ala annahu la yambari linaviri linafsihi. أن تكون الدنيا جميع همه ولا يهتم بدينه. And not only is that for desistance, but it is an alert, a notice that one should not look at himself. يعني it's not appropriate for the one who looks at himself. For the dunya to be all of his aspiration, all of his concern, all of his concern is the dunya. Wala yahtamma bidinihi, and he has no concern for his religion. Subhanallah. Some of those people, you can see it in their eyes. They have no concern but the dunya, getting money, wearing clothes. Having something to talk about, going out, etc. Nothing else matters to them. And some people are so engulfed in that. So entrenched in that, that they really think the world revolves around them. You shall know. You, that's a plural. You shall know. عند النزر سوء عاقبة ما كنتم عليه. When your soul gets pulled out, you will know the bad fate of what you have been upon. ثم كلا سوف تعلمون. Again, or furthermore, كلا desist. سوف تعلمون. You shall know. في القبور. In the graves. كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين. كا 
Kalla desist. That's a third one. Takriru Rodri Lil Inveri Wat Tahweef. This scolding has been repeated for warning and instilling fear. Law Talamun had you known Jawabu Law Mahdhuf A Law Talamun Ma Bain Aidikum meaning had you known what is ahead of you had you known what you are headed for Ilm al Yaqeen Knowledge of certainty had you known with knowledge of certainty Ilm al Amri al Yaqeen Meaning, had you known, like you know matters that you are definitely sure about. Had you known, like you know matters that you have no doubt about. Had you known, then such uh, uh, ambition to acquire and boast would not have occupied you. Or had you known you would have done what is undescribable. But you don't know. You are misguided, ignorant people. You disbelievers. You will by God see the inferno. Who a jawabu qasamin mahdhuf. When I said, by God, that's swear. By God, that's a swear. That part is not in the ayah. So the meaning is, by God, you will indeed see the inferno. So what's there is, al-jahim. You will indeed see the inferno by God. Wal-qasamu li al wa'id. And that's swear is to emphasize the threat. ثُمَّ لَتَرَوُنَّهَا Furthermore, or again, you will indeed see it. كَرَّرَهُ مَعْطُوفًا بِثُمَّ تَغْلِيظًا فِي التَّهْدِيدِ Allah repeated this thing being sworn about and conjuncted this repetition the second instance conjuncted the second instance by the conjunction thumma thumma usually you're going to translate it as then so you have when it comes to conjunctions you have numerous conjunctions, but the first three are wow, that usually means and, then fa, the fa, fa means then or so, and it has the meaning of immediateness. And then thumma, thumma means then, and it has the meaning of not immediateness. So there's more uh, space when it comes to thumma between the things that are being conjuncted. So he says, "Karlarahu ma'atufan bi thumma taghlivan fi tahdid." Here it was repeated and connected by the word thumma to intensify the threat. 
was yadatan fi tahwil and to increase the aspect of horror aw al awwal bil qalb wa al thani bil ayn ayn al yaqin ay ru'yat allati hiya nafs al yaqin wa khalisatu or the first one latarawun al jahim by god you shall see hell is for the heart you will know it by your heart thumma latarawunaha ayn al yaqin and then the second one according to the second way of explaining is that you shall indeed see it with the eye not just the heart ayn al yaqin with the eye of certainty ay ru'yat allati hiya nafsu al yaqin meaning that the sighting that you shall have it is itself the certainty it is pure certainty thumma la tusalun yawma idhin 'anin na'im then you shall indeed be asked on that day about the endowment on the safety and the health you will be asked about the safety that you were granted and the health that you were granted fi ma afnaytu muhuma how did you use those an ibn mas'ud radiyallahu anhu wa qila an at-tana'um alladhi shaghalakum that being asked about the safety and the health that was reported about Ibn Mas'ud may Allah accept from him and it was said that the meaning is you shall be asked about the endowment that its pleasure busied you its pleasure distracted you from the religion and its pleasure distracted you wa takalifihi from your religious responsibilities your religious accountability wa anil hasan ma siwa kinnin yuwi wa thawbin yuwari wa kisratin tu qawi wa qad روي مرفوعا والله اعلم I'm not sure how to explain that last sentence there